Well, during a very sloppy winter day, my windshield washer system failed on me. Look at this dirty windshield and hardly any squirt. So I suspect it's not the pump. So I'm going to focus on the plastic nozzles, connectors and hoses first. Welcome back to your home garage. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to replace key parts of your windshield washer system. This entire cowling needs to be removed. And to do that, the wiper blades have to be disconnected. There's a small tab on the base of the wiper blade assembly that just pushes outwards. And then all you have to do is just pull the blade assembly straight out. Next, remove the plastic push fastener that holds down the corner of the cowling. You can use one of these trim removal tools or a standard screwdriver. With three push tabs behind the seal, just press them in and lift the cowling slightly and gently until they actually unlock. Of course, always be careful when dealing with aged plastic as they can become really brittle due to the excess engine heat and UV rays. The hose to the nozzle disconnects easily with some careful pulling and the nozzle has two push tabs that depress and then it just pulls out from the top of the cowling. With the cowling and the hose fully disconnected, this is how easy it is to remove the nozzle. Once again, just push in the two side tabs and pull the nozzle through the top of the cowling. Now I'm replacing the old plastic ones with these new brass nozzle tips. And they're an absolutely easy push in installation. Once you hear the click, it's in. And when you get to the passenger nozzle, it's done the exact same way. With the driver's side cowling removed, and I'll also remove the weather stripping just because it's easier. You'll need a ratchet to remove this small bolt first in order to loosen the other half of the cowling. Then just follow the similar process from the driver's side. With the passenger side removed, which is the primary that feeds the driver's side, I'm noticing some strange wet marks that I suspect are hose leaks and likely the reason why I'm losing pressure from the pump and the fluid to the top of the windshield. Since I'm replacing the nozzle, I'll disconnect the hoses and then start to replace the parts as needed. So my Y connector is cracked and that definitely needs to be replaced as most of the fluid is just leaking out and causing the pressure drop. And as you can see, some of the old plastic connectors are just so brittle and broken in the hoses. So just replace everything that is questionable on your truck as I'm doing on mine. I'll also link the kit that I purchased that had all the connectors, hoses, and new spray nozzles in the description below. With all the newer connectors in place on your truck, just take your time and push the hose over them for a tight seal. Now start to reconnect everything in the opposite order. So start with the passenger cowling first. Attach that bolt. Connect the single hose on the driver's side cowling. Slide the cowling back on and snap it into place. Keep in mind, this one overlaps the passenger cowling at the center of the windshield. Then just align your weather seal and it doesn't matter if you start on the driver or passenger side and just push it into place. And the last thing to secure the cowling is to push in the fasteners. I just want to test out the system before I attach the wiper arms to ensure that everything works. But I forgot to hit record on the camera and that's why the windshield already has fluid on it. So let's try this again and as you can see that the pressure and the new nozzles work like a charm. Just ensure that your wiper blade switch is in the off position. Now go ahead and reattach your arm in the downward position then that way when you turn it on you'll get a perfect alignment. Now let's try our first test and see if we could clean this really dirty windshield. We're getting a perfect spray and clean. And these are just a few of the key parts that were replaced, starting with some hose, connectors, and both nozzles that became really brittle with time. So don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with a friend. Also, please comment below as I reply to all. Plus, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on your home garage. Well, now that I have a clean windshield, might as well wash the rest of the truck.